Yo, wake up in the morning dreaming of the past Everyone's moving on, moving so fast Your anxiety's high now, let's find the cure Let's learn something fresh, like totally obscure Question for you. How do you remember 1992? Were you even born yet? Probably not. But if you remember it like I do, you remember positive things. You remember a, a good economy? You remember uh, getting a Nintendo? You remember getting a skateboard for Christmas? Those are all great things, but there was a darker side, a much, much darker side of 1992. I'm of course talking about racism. Yeah. No one ever talked about it. No, it was just the elephant in the room anytime a black person walked in. He didn't want to say a fucking word. <laughs> but uh, that was until this fucking amazing piece of cinematography came out. Of course, I'm talking about college kickboxers. Now, you know a little something about movies, right? Yeah, we all do. No, fuck you. You don't know shit. This movie's gonna blow your fucking brains out. Just what? Just watch. Just but just do it. Now the movie opens with this guy in this jeep driving to this music. Hands down, favorite fucking movie already. This guy, this is James Caulfield. What the fuck does that matter? Let's meet his roommate, Mark. I'm James Caulfield. Your roommate? Look, Caulfield, I'm not interested in giving you my life history. I am interested in graduating. So why don't you just shut up so I can study? Just uh, turn around, leave, get a new roommate. Don't mess with me, Caulfield. I'll kick your ass in five seconds flat. Oh, really? And just how are you going to do that? Wait, wait, wait. What are, you, what are you still doing in there, man? Get the fuck out of there! Taekwondo. Tang Sudo. Kempo. Hapkido. Jiu-jitsu. I'm sorry. I fucking- I didn't know we had an OG right here, okay? Fucking black, 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 black. Give me some fucking Colgate, okay? Cause it's black everywhere. It's a fucking joke about toothpaste. Just get over it. Do you jog? So these two completely straight men wake up together and wrestle outside. But that's not even the saving grace of this scene. Oh no. Enter the antagonist of this feature. Puddle of Death Green. Whip that nigger's ass. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, what? I said... Whip the nigger's ass. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I heard. I just wanted to make sure. But what the fuck is wrong with you? The guy's fucking huge. He's bigger than you. I'm fucking gonna get your butt kicked. That's what their asses are for. Right? Now, I know this scene is supposed to develop this very multi dimensional villain, but. <laughs> just look at his lackeys. They look lost. Um, I, I'm, I'm not even racist. I just, you know, I like being in a gang. The closest thing to a family I've ever had. Now, if that scene wasn't rich enough, well, j well j just you wait! Enter the female love interest. Well, excuse me. Well, I'm late for class. Cut! Okay, alright. Uh, listen, you bump, take a beat, and then you deliver your line. Reset, reset, let's try this again. Well, excuse me. Well, I'm late for class. Cut! Just brilliant. Same, same exact thing you did before, but I, I mean, I just, I loved it this time. Fucking brilliant. Oh, yeah, me too. Ecosystems? <laughs> it's ecosystems. <laughs> C cool, I'll see you in an algebra class later. Our hero then takes a pointless trip to a karate class where the film completely turns into a training video. I I'm serious, watch this. What I'm gonna work on is low round kick going to the leg or to the knee, recoiling, kick round kick to the head, spin heel kick again to the head. Like that. Again, first one comes in, taking out the knee, recoiling, coming through, knocking the hand down, heel kicking to the head, and coming through, ready to follow up with the hands. Wow. Okay. What the fuck is this training shit? I don't want to get off the couch. This isn't fucking Blue's Clues. I don't want to find shit. I don't want to kick the fucking air. Cut to the 325th location in the first fucking five minutes of this film, and you'll find that James has found himself a busing job. Don't forget to leave the tip. You shut your fucking goddamn mouth. Now let's just stop right there. What? What? Why would you say that? Don't forget 
leave the tip. They're already leaving, and what what the fuck? You don't go trip a tip. Are you just are you just trying to talk to the pretty ladies, James? Is that it? Okay, all right, let's do this. Let's let's start a list. The completely smooth things to say to ladies, starring James. We'll just we'll just add that to the list. Don't forget to tip. Okay, check. Now James sees Kimberly again, but is interrupted by his boss and sent to actually do his fucking job. Just what the hell do you think you were doing out there? I was trying to score. Yeah, yeah, with with these skills. I'm pretty busy. I mean, I got this job now and karate after classes. Wrong, macho man. But out, buddy. My personal life is none of your business. <laughs> Talk big, but your mouth stink. Blah, blah, blah. Blake McStick shows up and says Jungle Monkey and oh boy, th things heat up. Back in whatever hole you climbed out of. I will. Oh, that that's it. Okay. Go, Chief. They're burning hundreds of acres of Amazon rainforests every day. That must make one big bonfire. Okay, you, you did it to yourself, James. You add that right to the list. Make fun of a woman's cute little interest. So Loverboy gets a date with Batty Mayonnaise where they fight because, I don't know, that's what people thought love was in the 90s. Why don't you just go save a whale? Who cares? Look, Trickster and the monkeys were waiting outside to apologize and make amends with James. I'm, I'm just kidding, they're gonna kick stupid ass. This is how we treat coon lovers. Drop em, boys. <laughs> Enter Mr. Miyagi. You crawl, or I'll cut you too. Chinaman. Oh, hang on. Is he racist? So they have Wind Crawl because I, I don't know. Who cares? Who wrote this? Shakespeare? We've, we've just come to assume stupid shit will happen. Bet you can't guess what the only Asian man in a film centered on karate does. <laughs> in China's art. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you were gonna drive me home. Dude, the guy just pushed a gun into a tree to save your life. Fucking walk yourself, absorb prick. Drive yourself. You tell him, Win. So James talks to Mark, tells him how amazing Win can fight, and if Win can teach him how to fight, then he can teach Mark, and Mark can win $20,000 for his karate school. Subplots! Subplots everywhere! Where's the little racist? I just want to film about him. I just want to watch him be a little racist all around. China. For the next 15 minutes is just James trying to get Wynn to train him. It's a gay say anything with a cooler that says patience. Finally, Wynn stops being a fucking cop tease and starts training the little twink. Let's watch. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to catch next week's episode. Give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, here are some other videos and projects I work on. Love you!